Welcome to Baller or Bust, where we test FIFA cards so you don't have to. Today, we've got the Juventus center mid, Rabio. Fuck, birthday edition. He looks like a beast. He's got Hullet Gang stats. This is the squad we used him in. In game, we used a 4 2 3 1, and we played him at the CDM position on both sides. I tried him out on both sides just to feel it out. I think he's got 5 star weak foot, so it doesn't really matter, but. Why not, alongside with Thurm, who is also a really good defensive CDM, to kind of compare how he does defensively. I think he's definitely more defensive-based, based on these stats right here. Even though he's got the alternative position of left mid, he's definitely more defensive. Um, he's got the high and average body type. He's got three-star skills. Uh, his shooting is his worst stat, so you know he's definitely more defensive midfielder. He does have medium-medium work weights, which hurts. Um, but just looking at his stats, I mean, everything's really solid. High composure, good positioning, good defending stats, good physicality. His aggression is a little low, but, you know, overall, he's got really good stats. But, anyway, getting back to it. He's definitely more defensive midfielder. I heard people replacing Vieira for him, which I think is ridiculous. I said that on TikTok. I think you guys are insane. There's no way this card is better than any version of Vieira. But it is a good card. You can see he scored a banger there. Uh, he's solid, but like uh, the thing with him that threw me off was compared to Thurum, he does a lot less defensively. Thurum was probably five yards behind him more often than not. I think it would be because of the work rates. Thurum was just a lot more defensive. And that made a difference in terms of like defensive positioning. You know, he didn't have that urge to get back and play defense as much as Thurum does when he's AI controlled, which is important for, you know, your CDMs. Going forward, he offers a lot more than Thurum does. Thurum can't pass, can't shoot. You know, he's got nothing going forward. So Rabiot's definitely more of a box-to-box. -box, but if you were thinking, like, this guy's going to be a defensive rock, you know, Conte, Vieira, Gattuso level, he's not. You're better off doing Gattuso if you want someone that's a CDM, a pure CDM. But if you want a box-to-box -box guy, Rabio is definitely really solid. He's got the stamina. He's got the ability to do stuff offensively that, you know, are better than some CDMs. Obviously, Gattuso and Thurum don't do anything offensively. Rabio has the ability to do stuff on offense. You know, he only has three-star skills. So, like, com you know, if you look at other box-to-box -box midfielders like Pogba and stuff with four-star skills, they're doing a little bit more going forward in terms of like being shifty and being able to create and stuff like that where well, Rabio only has three star he's a little bit on the clunkier side it's a weird card it's a weird situation because defensively he doesn't excel like some cdms do and offensively he doesn't offer anything that crazy besides just being you know a solid player so stat wise i think he's good i don't think he has any major flaws in his game besides those work rates and the three star skills but it's a solid card. I mean, it's only 150k for 150k. You know, it's definitely worth it. If it was 400k, 350, something like that, I would say no. But for 150, it's a solid card. You get what you pay for. It's worth it if you need a Serie A midfielder and you don't have one already. If you have like Pogba, he's not gonna replace him. I don't understand how people are replacing Vieira with him. That trend will die pretty soon. People love to get hype over new cards and overrate them. But with that being said, you know, he's a solid card. He'll get the job done box to box. But he don't don't expect anything insanely special. He's just like a solid card.